Well, hey, welcome to Proven's Garage. If you've been following along at all, you know that we've been making some progress on Maricart. And uh, in this video, we are gonna do something totally different. I may have picked up this puppy. So, I know what you might be thinking. Uh, what are you doing? You got this project going on. What are you doing picking up another one? Well, I kind of got this uh, basically almost for free. So I couldn't really pass it up. And it's in really good shape. And it's, it has been sitting for probably about 10 years. So it, it currently doesn't run, but it's in good shape. And I think that we can probably get it running pretty easily. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. So what we've got here is a 96 Yamaha Virago 750. And again, it's a V-twin. So apparently this is Proven's V-twin garage now. Um, so I got some ideas of what I want to do with this thing after I get it running and driving. Um, but I haven't really decided on that yet. So what we're going to do for now is just go through it, try to get it running. Um, it's been sitting for like 10 years. So we're going to do some just basic stuff, put new plugs in it, change out the gas. I'm going to go through the carbs, uh, get those all cleaned out. I'll put them through my ultrasonic cleaner and uh, hopefully we won't need a rebuild kit, but if we do, that's not that big of a deal. And uh, I already pulled the battery out. It had nothing in it. So I, I, I had some uh, battery acid on the shelf uh, left over from another battery that I had bought and filled up. So I put that in the battery and I've been charging it and it amazingly looks like it's gonna hold a charge. I thought I was gonna have to buy a battery, but maybe not. So uh, I'm gonna pull some stuff off. We're gonna pull the tank off. I'm sure that needs to be cleaned out. And then I'm gonna pull the carbs off. We're gonna get those cleaned up, put some fresh gas in it, put a battery in it and see if it'll fire up. So let's get at it. So I have the key for this thing and all of the other locks open. The ignition turns on uh, with the key, the helmet holder opens up, even the, the toolbox in the back opens up, but the tank, the cap would not open. And I tried lubricating it and letting it soak and tried over and over and it would not open up. So I went with the old jam a screwdriver in it trick. So now the tank opens with a screwdriver. Maybe. And she's quite crusty. All right, so I got the gas tank rinsing and drying out. So now I'm gonna pull the carbs off. Looks like all we need is a full test screwdriver. All right, we got the carbs off. So moment of truth is gonna be taking the bowls off and seeing how Clean or dirty they are. Let's get these things opened up and see what they look like. Just a tiny bit of junk in the bottom of the bowl, but otherwise these things look really good. I'm not even gonna send them, I'm not even gonna send them through the ultrasonic cleaner. I'm just gonna spray them out with some car cleaner. I'll pull them completely apart just to check. Right now the float's not sticking at all. In that one at least. Well, like an idiot, I uh, stripped one of these Phillips head screws, so I had to drill the head off. Hopefully I can get that out fairly easily, and then I can just get another screw. These are pretty common, so I may actually have one. Again, super clean in there. I really lucked out. This never happens to me. Uh, but we got a little bit of dirt down at the bottom. Looks like they probably drained the carbs out when they put it up for the winter or whatever. And there was just a little bit of gas sitting in the bottom and that's what happens. Now, if you're going to use carb cleaner to clean your carbs, 
definitely take these out before you start spraying it with carb cleaner because these things will start to warp and change size and then it's going to be really hard to get it back in this groove. Honestly, these things look great. I think I'm going to clean the bowls up, spray through the jets really quick just to make sure everything's flowing. I think we're probably good. Alright, so got the carbs all cleaned out, got them reinstalled, and uh, went over and looked at my table that I was cleaning them on, and found I forgot to put a jet back in. <laughs> so I gotta take them back off again and put this jet back in. <laughs> Definitely needed that. Well, I rinsed this tank thoroughly and it is still looking pretty rough. So I'm gonna take it and hit it with the pressure washer and try to break some more of that loose. Well, a couple minutes with the pressure washer and holy crap. Looks pretty good. All right, well, it has dried up enough go for a test drive, so we're going to give her a go. cleaned up really nice. Uh, this was actually super easy uh, to get cleaned up and running great. But the main thing is, is now I need to figure out 
what I'm going to do with this thing. It's in pretty nice shape, so it's kind of hard for me to turn it into something else, but I have a problem. I just can't stop doing stuff like this. So I'm thinking, I got a couple ideas. Uh, either a reverse leaning trike, you know, completely custom front end, change things around, make it look the way I want to, or Cafe Racer. Uh, that's a really good candidate for doing one of those. That would be a pretty cool build. Or I just so happen to have this frame. So I picked this up with all the other parts I picked up uh, from Aircart, and I think it might need to be wheelie cart. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I'm open to different ideas. You know, let me know what you think I should build with this thing. I kind of like it because it's a B-twin. I think a nice torquey B-twin on this would be awesome. Uh, but let me know. But thanks for stopping by. Please join us next time on Progen's Garage.